what we're about to talk about is, a, is different types of serves. What was it during lunch where I, I said like you're for sure like for sure like you have 4-0 like tennis. Without this, it's going to be really hard. Uh, you got a lot of great athletic attributes, but as long as you only have one serve delivery, man, going from 3-5 to 4-0 is going to be really hard. And 4-5, for, just forget about it. Uh, come on over to the board real quick. We'll, we'll leave the camera here. I'm going to write something down, physics related. This, over the last like five years, has been the most impactful statement to me in my teaching. The ball is only on the strings for about three or four thousandths of a second. And it's like, if I remember correctly, it's like an 80th of a second to blink your eyes. So it's like um, 15 or 20 ball impacts is one blink like of the human eye. <laughs> so in that tiny split second, wherever the strings are facing, the ball will go that direction, period. And then whatever path your racket was on will impart spin, which then manipulates the path of the ball. And so it's gonna hit a little bit different spot, but this is like a small part of it. And this is the biggest part of it is the direction of the strings. So with that in mind, let's look at an example of a pro bending it and sending it. This is a flat serve that we looked at earlier. His target is here, he's gonna hit that spot. His racket goes through the ball in a straight line towards his target. And so he's releasing the racket straight through the ball directly at his target. And so that sends the ball in a directly flat path, like right towards his target. So there is no significant curve or bend because all his energy is just going straight through the ball right at his, where he wants the ball to go. Yep. So there's no deviation between the path and the target. So there's no significant spin. Yep. Now, watch this. This is a kick serve, like a heavy topspin serve. How would you characterize or describe the path now? What direction is his racket swinging? But Look. more to the side, it feels like. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, you're correct. Here's the peak. This is the very top right here. Yeah. And he's, uh, it's not quite. And he's making contact back here. So his racket is still on the way up. So that's going to give the ball what kind of spin? But predominantly, it's also moving, if we draw a line straight down from the ball, the racket's moving from the left side of the ball to the right side of the ball. Uh, something, I just noticed this, like, I've been using this set of clips forever to explain this, and I just realized like a month ago that the sun is directly at his back. This is like, this is really cool cool if you're a mega nerd like me. Watch the path of the racket. Look at, how it, look at how it traces the baseline. It's going forwards a little bit, but do you see how the shadow yeah. is in line with the baseline? Okay. Isn't that crazy? So he really is like throwing the racket out to the side and that's how he's creating this serve. Look at how high over the net it is. And now watch the, the bounce. This dude back here is like six foot six. It's still going up. <laughs> and so the way you make the, the ball clear the net by that much and then bounce that aggressively is by actually swinging that way and not towards the box. So um, let's go to yours real quick. Check out the path of the racket and the face of the racket. You see how the path is going through the court yep. towards the box? And so that's what's gonna send the most pace into the other side of the court. That's gonna be the fastest shot. It's also the most direct shot, which means we can't have bend. We can't have shape, AKA margin, as long as the path is in line with the target. So we're going to learn how to 
swing the racket in a different direction to create shape and margin. And then you won't have to slow down to hit a safe serve. That's also effective because of the, the movement and the bounce on the other side. To begin with, take a couple steps back for me and just watch me do this. You're gonna line up right on the tee here and you're gonna do two sets of two shadow swings. Your first two shadow swings, you're gonna go back into your normal trophy pose and smoothly and slowly swing along the center line. So your goal is to go directly towards the net through the court. Then your next set of two swings, you're gonna keep your body more sideways and you're gonna drop and release the racket along the service line. So this is gonna to be totally perpendicular to the first, the first two swings. Yep. One more of those, nice and slow. Good. And now two where the racket traces the service line. Yeah, good, nice job. Yeah, that's really nice, Kevin. Check this out. Here's your, your flat delivery. So the face and the path are in alignment. That's what makes it flat. And then here's your spin delivery. Now the face is pointing one direction while the path goes a different direction. That would create tons and tons of spin. Do you think it's going to work? Yeah. I don't know. I, <laughs> it no, doesn't feel like it should, not. right? <laughs> Commit to the service line. Yep, yep, yep. One more shadow. That's right. Now same movement with the ball there. Good, better, 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 better. Did you notice the difference in the sound? Of that one? A little bit, yeah. I had a little bit of uh, like clicking like sound off the strings. That's from the, the racket moving past the ball instead of just going flat like through it. That's good. Same thing. Two shadows and then a hit. Yeah, now we're talking. That's exactly right. Good, I told you you could do it. Now instead of swinging towards the box, good, you're staying more sideways now, you're holding the edge of the racket. Now you're doing it just like ground it. You're going right along the service line. But the ball's still going in the, in the box because your strings are staying facing forwards. This is your second serve. Oh, dude, that's awesome. That was super thin. Really nice. Now let's go back to the blue line and we're gonna do the same thing. Yeah, good, you see that bend? Yeah. <laughs> That's nice, back to the baseline, same thing. That was really good. Here, check out that last one. Look at that, that's awesome. See how different the path is from where the ball is going now? Mm -hmm. they're, oh, yeah. they're no longer tied together, they're no longer in line with each other. And so that's what's gonna give the ball, watch the, watch the shape on this. Some tons of bend. That's what's going to give you the safety and margin yep. where you don't no longer have to slow down to really be careful to have a high percentage serve. You can swing. In fact, the faster you swing, if you keep this path, the more spin is on the ball. And the more spin is on the ball, the more it bends. And the more it bends, the more margin you have. Yep. So it's actually a positive uh, feedback loop instead of a negative one.
That's it, that's it. Just caught the frame. Really good pass. That's it, that's it. Good. So old second serve, watch the pass. Look at all the rack, it just stays with the ball, like in the in the same direction the whole the whole way through. And now watch the, the pass here. Now the racket's traveling past the ball. This one's not ever gonna have any margin, and this one's gonna have lots of space as you get better and better at it over the top of the net. That's it. It's just a matter of refining and getting comfortable with it and getting familiar, like you said, like with the angle of the racket, and uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna lose the pass, and you, you're gonna have to keep reminding yourself, keep it, keep it this way, keep it this way, yep. and that's just, becoming familiar with the, with the pieces of it. Okay. So it'll take some time, but big picture, like long-term, this is absolutely critical. Right. Does okay. it all, all make sense? Yep. It's just a matter of repetition now. Yep. And as soon as you start to lose it, just go back to, you know, just this, just back and forth, back and forth. And just, you, even if you just have to do this and hit it a couple times, uh, just to bring yourself back into that path, that's the most important part. Good job, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna put down uh, serve notes here. And then we'll pack up.